Our other top story at six, two Nigerian men extradited to the U.S. in Grand Rapids today to face charges in a sextortion case. Both men charged in connection with the death of 17-year-old Jordan DeMay. Glad you're with us at 6. I'm Devin Skillier. I'm Kimberly Gill. DeMay took his own life last year after he was allegedly tricked online into sending explicit photos of himself. Sean Lay in Grand Rapids with reaction from Jordan's family. These two men arrested in Nigeria, extradited here to Grand Rapids. They just were before a federal judge showing no emotion here. But also, the parents of Jordan DeMay tell me they had to be in the courtroom here to see these men in person. We just spoke with them, and it was a very emotional time after this court hearing. What was it like to be in there with these guys? What was it like? It was pretty overwhelming to sit there and see the people who last um, saw and spoke to my son. The parents of Marquette 17-year-old Jordan DeMay, John DeMay and Jennifer Buda had to be in a Grand Rapids federal courtroom to see the men who last had contact with their son before their son took his own life in March of 2022. The men are from Nigeria. They are brothers and they are accused of contacting teens and young men on social media, posing as girls, gaining trust and getting sexually explicit photos from their targets and then extorting them, saying if the target doesn't pay, they make those photos public. One target, Jordan DeMay, so full of life. But in a matter of hours after he was contacted, after he sent money, he took his own life. Jordan's parents say Jordan is now saving lives as they share his story to warn others. It's absolutely tremendous. And every fiber in my body had to just know that we're here for a purpose and let the system play out. Um, I hope it sets um, an example that the people who are engaging in this type of activity online, um, you can be you can be caught. The feds say they still have one more person in the Jordan DeMay situation to track down and arrest. They're confident they will get them. In the meantime, the two brothers from Nigeria being held tonight without bond. From Grand Rapids, Sean Lee, Local 4. Hey, Sean, we appreciate your story tonight. Now, a couple of months ago, I traveled to Marquette to sit down with Jordan DeMay's parents. Jennifer and John feel it's their life-saving purpose to share his story, to keep other children from becoming victims of sextortion. You can see my reports in a Local 4 Plus special called A Closer Look, the Jordan DeMay Story. Check it out on anytime, anytime on our streaming app.